my name is Yelena Zotova. I'm a PhD student at the University of Illinois in Chicago. I'm uh, working on uh, the narrative prose of uh, 1920s and 30s, and I'm teaching um, a few courses, usually on language, but sometimes on uh, Russian literature and culture. This semester I'm teaching uh, Russian literature in the original and the course in the Russian avant-garde. Um, Yes, I think I do. Um, I'm trying to be more straightforward, more to the point, and kind of more disciplined and less, um, I don't want to say creative, but le uh, use less metaphors and less kind of asso free associations than I would in Russia. So, well, I think um, the most important thing is to know very well what are you writing about and what you're writing for. In other words, what kind of contribution you're making to the writing that already exists, how you are different, um, and also uh, it is important to kind of show that you acknowledge and respect uh, other people's contribution. So balancing these two things, I think, is, is one of the of course, I think uh, the connection is very strong. Uh, first of all, you, in, well, we're talking about English, uh, writing in, in another language. Um, I think that in many ways, writing, uh, reading helped my writing. Uh, first of all, you get the useful models of how writing is done in the United States, for example. Um, you also uh, enrich your vocabulary, obviously, and um, in general, I think that uh, you know it, it's an interesting kind of personal experience. But when I started writing and reading in English, I started to better read uh, Russian texts. So I started to see uh, the same structure that were required to produce in English in Russian texts, only in Russian it is a little bit more masked. Not, not so obvious, but it's there. Of course, very often. And uh, one thing that helps my revisions is uh, taking my paper to conferences. Because when you uh, read it out loud to some audience, whether or not they're happy with your paper, whether or not questions are relevant, you still have this better sense of what you've written and you come back and rewrite. Uh, I do not use grammar reference book. I don't know if I should, maybe, as a non-native speaker, but um, I use dictionary occasionally. Questions? Yes. One, have plenty of time and set up uh, strong deadlines for yourself. And two, uh, do not be discouraged if uh, what you wrote yesterday you have to completely rewrite tomorrow. Do not to be, be afraid to start from scratch and go back and forth. <laughs>